Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm kicking off a new video series uh, on Grails. So what is Grails? Grails is a web application framework uh, written based on Groovy uh, for the JVM, and it does a lot of uh, convention over configuration, uh, very similar to uh, Rails, so Ruby on Rails, or Django, which is a Python-based framework. Um, it just gives you a lot of stuff out of the box, ready to go. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about it. So it's an MVC uh, framework. Uh, I use MVC lightly because it means a little different things in different contexts, but it does have model view and controller parts to it. Uh, uses convention over configuration but is highly configurable. You can override pretty much everything uh, based on like major technologies like Spring, Hibernate, Tomcat, and Groovy. And there are a lot of features. I'm just going to run through these. Uh, totally rips off a lot of Rails and Django. Uh, actually, I think they stole a lot back and forth, which is one of the great things of open source uh, projects like this. Uh, it has parameterized URLs so that you can do URL structures uh, that are, you know, wh whatever you need. Uh, which is actually very useful if you're uh, using an opinionated Java framework for your front end. Um, it has controllers with exception handlers and data binding. Uh, exception handlers eliminate a lot of boilerplate of try-catch. Uh, data binding just makes it so you can have a little bit more fluent APIs. Uh, services, which are transactional by default, which is where all your business logic should be. Domain classes, which gives you lends its uh, way to GORM, which is uh, ORM, which is based on top of Hibernate, uh, GSP, which is kind of like JSP. Um, this is like your view layer, which uh, if you're using a, a front-end JavaScript framework, you probably won't use this too much, but if you're not, this is where you would create your views. Uh, one of the biggest things in Grails is its plugins, which uh, add a lot of uh, functionality to Grails, like uh, database migrations and security. And with these plugins, uh, they're essentially like mini Grails apps, so they're very easy to create, um, which is why there are actually so many of them. Uh, this has uh, tasks, which actually is pulled from GPARS, which is a groovy concurrency library, and is integrated into Grails in various aspects, which can be useful uh, and actually goes towards uh, that, that buzzword that you might be hearing more recently, which is reactive, which essentially using asynchronous promises. I, I would say that's a buzzword, but th these can be useful in some instances. Uh, can connect to multiple data sources, including most notably JDBC or some of the NoSQL databases, usually through plugins. Uh, uses Spock for unit testing and uh, functional testing using Jeb. Uh, it has uh, scaffolding, uh, scaffolding, which is can be dynamic or uh, generated. And, but this is in the 2x line, which is probably coming soon to the 3x line, which uh, Grails 3 just came out not too long ago. Uh, I'll be talking in another video a little bit more about Grails 3 and what that means. But, you know, I wouldn't be an early adopter since it just came out. Uh, I'd wait till, you know, the dust settles a little bit, but that's where the future of Grails is, obviously. Uh, it has easy dependency injection using uh, Spring Beans. Uh, so basically all of its services are just Spring Beans and it's very easy to just inject those uh, where you need them. Uh, and it has command line, uh, a lot of command line uh, stuff to generate the skeleton of the projects and components. So I'm going to show you that right now. And I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to go Grails create dash app call it test and it'll run through generate up my test environment so I'll go over to that and I'll do grails run dash app 
Now this is something it takes a little bit while to get the Grails environment all compiled and up and running. Uh, it's essentially running Tomcat uh, right out of the box. I didn't have to, you know, set that up. It's just, you know, something it gives you an embedded Tomcat. So this is something that will be faster in the newer Grails uh, version because the newer Grails version uh, is based off of Spring Boot and that's basically a topic for another time but you know just a little bit of information while we're waiting <laughs> and okay it is up and running so I'm just going to take this and go like that and boom, I have a Grails app, which is up and running. I can now go into this Grails app and start adding actual code that does things, uh, controllers and s things of that nature. So that was very quick just to be able to get up and running and have a fully functional test environment. So in future videos, I'm going to be talking about uh, where Grails is going with the 3.0 versus uh, the 2x version, uh, which is what what's out uh, now, and more videos on this. So, till next time.